Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Halicia, but I go by Lee. And if you're new here, I make videos on fashion, lifestyle, travel, and beauty. So if that's your vibe, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. We are back with, I wanna say the third video of the Signature Style series. I definitely did take a break in between this. I posted a couple of vlogs and a couple of other fashion related videos but we're back and in this episode of the signature style series we are going over outfit combos or killer combos and essentially what an outfit combo is some people call it outfit formulas it's basically where you pair the same silhouettes of clothing together over and over and over again because you know that it's going to work well together and we've already gone over silhouettes and discovering what silhouettes best fit every body type and your lifestyle so i'm not gonna dive into that if you haven't seen the other videos in this series then make sure that you check out the description bar below because they will all be linked in a playlist now i do want you to keep in mind that different outfit combos or different outfit formulas are going to range from person to person because you definitely have to consider your body type your height and also your lifestyle and of course the weather so there's several things that kind of go into this but what i would say is that by the end of this video you should at least be able to come up with five outfit combos that best fit you okay so let's break it down because there are several ways to create outfit combos one of them is juxtaposition i'm getting back into my art bag again and juxtaposition is essentially just two things that are brought together that have a contrasting effect in other words contrast dressing now we're not so much so talking about the colors we're actually talking about the silhouettes of the pieces so this is just an example of creating juxtaposition within an outfit if you wear a mini skirt maybe paired with an oversized top a mini skirt is small it's dainty it's little there's barely any coverage and the oversized top almost like offsets it because it's larger it's looser it's fully covering everything so not only does it make it, the outfit interesting but it also kind of makes the outfit make sense now there are other ways to do outfit combos but let's just focus on juxtaposition at this moment this is what i typically like to do i feel like it's the easiest way to create outfit combos because basically whatever piece it is that i want to wear whatever piece it is that i like then i know that the other piece that i grab should be the exact opposite so we talked about this in my silhouettes videos where i told you that i liked straight leg pants or like oversized pants loose pants wide leg pants cargos so the perfect way to kind of pair that back to really create that extra interest is to do a tighter or a fitted top i can also show you better than i can tell you so i'm going to try to provide as many examples as possible to actually reference what we're getting into also just quick tip this is one of the easiest ways to create those killer combos because you're really only working with two articles of clothing. So just get it kind of like fixed in your brain that the articles of clothing should be opposite one another. And if you really want to take this to the next level, if you really want to get fashion girly, if you really want to zhuzh this up, then add in a statement piece. A statement piece could be an accessory. It could be one of the pieces of clothing it could even be hair it could be a shoe so back to what i was saying you guys know how i love oversized bottoms so anytime i wear something that is really loose wide on the bottom i'm gonna go tighter fit it on the top easy combo that i feel like i do often is i'll do a cargo pant or like a wide leg pant and a corset top so most of my corset tops are long line corset tops so i'm actually fully covered i'm giving you a little bit of cleavage a little bit of clavicle on the bottom we got loose we got movement 
although i'm very covered in an aspect the outfit is very interesting it also gives my body a lot of shape it creates a lot of curves and for the most part i'm super comfortable now what i'll also do with like a cargo pant or a wide leg pant is i'll do a cropped top and it could be a crop top of any form of fashion it could be a crop top that's literally just like a diamante kind of like top that just covers the breast it could be a crop top with sleeves it could even be a long sleeve crop top just really depending on the weather but i'll create that interest in a in a fitted and or crop top with those wider leg bottoms and typically one of the pieces is a statement piece because that's what i like to do sometimes both of the pieces are statement pieces but i might do like sparkle and then a solid you know because to me cargo pants are already a statement piece but i do feel like you can still really really dress them up i feel like you guys are getting the vibes but let me just give you a couple of more examples that i like to do and I do feel like the examples that I'm giving you do work on most body types. Here's one of the easiest ones. This one really makes the most sense. It's super practical. It's something that everybody does and we actually don't even pay attention to it. And that's leggings and a sweatshirt. I feel like this is the easiest example of creating juxtaposition in an outfit that makes it work. We see this all the time. We typically do this all the time because the leggings are fitted all the way down the body and then you have a sweatshirt that's typically oversized sometimes it even covers up the butt or if not it sits below but it still has that volume at the top whereas at the bottom you have this very fitted piece that is literally the ideal explanation that i feel like anybody could understand so let's just say you're wearing a maxi skirt ideally if the skirt is fitted especially you would want to wear somewhat of an oversized top, somewhat of a structured top, maybe something with shoulder pads that you can possibly tuck into the skirt. It's going to be interesting. It's going to look good. That outfit combo just works because the pieces are the opposite of one another. And that's essentially what contrast dressing is or creating juxtaposition in an outfit now you can even do this with like single pieces of clothing so one of my favorite things to wear especially when i don't want to think about it like if i just want to look very very put together i don't want to put any effort into it i'm going somewhere i will wear a blazer an oversized blazer as a dress it's one piece it's transformative in my wardrobe i'm working it in in several ways and because it's oversized and it's actually a blazer it's going to be super mini on me it works because it's so oversized and then if i really really want to zhuzh it up i'll put underneath it maybe like a button down even like a longer button down that kind of like peeks out at the bottom or you can see it a little bit at the top sometimes i'll even button up the button down all the way up so that everything at the top is covered it's loose on the body this is kind of like for me i do this typically if i'm going to dinners and i don't want to think about the outfit because i got so much room or if i'm even going to like celebrations parties and things where i might be drinking or eating and i know that i'm going to be bloated or i know that i might be uncomfortable with maybe like a corset on that's what i put it on and i'm likely going to pair it with some boots or some pumps something of that nature and just let the legs go free if it's cold outside i'll throw on some tights and it is the perfect fit it looks really clean it looks really put together it hides all of the imperfections of the body it's loose it's comfortable it's also a great kind of like cycle outfit i cannot tell you <laughs> how many times i have used this for that purpose if i'm cramping if i'm bloated or if i just i don't want anything around my stomach but I need to go outside. Like I need to look a certain way. I'm putting on an oversized blazer as a dress. I'm gonna do it. Now I'm not saying any of this to say that you can't create an outfit where the two pieces don't contrast because that would actually be a lie. You can do this, but I just feel like it takes a little bit more thought. It takes a little bit more effort and it might take a little bit more trial and error. So let's just say for instance, 
you don't want to contrast the pieces. You want it to be baggy on the top and baggy on the bottom. There are ways to offset that and I feel like the best way to kind of offset that so that you don't just drown in the outfit is to add a third piece. I would break it up with like a belt or even using your corsets to cinch in the pieces to create a waistline. You could tie up the shirt or you could tuck it into the bottoms to create a waistline. Really just anything that kind of breaks it up. You could even add like a cropped sweater on top of it so that this portion is cinched thin and then you still have an oversized top and you still have oversized bottoms because at some point you do want breaks in the outfit. You want curves to be creative. You want more interest versus just throwing it on and then you're wearing it. You could even go with like a crop jacket, something that breaks up the dimension so it's not just long. Maybe a better reference is you don't want to look like you're wearing a muumuu and you're not. You're wearing a full outfit. So create breaks within the outfit so that it is interesting. Kia actually does this really, really well. I feel like a lot of the New York girlies in general honestly do this really well and I think it's because it gets so much colder there so they end up layering a bunch of pieces and you could drown in the pieces if you were to just put them on but I think the interest is in the styling. It's how they create visual layers so that you can actually even see those layers and appreciate those layers that makes the outfit so interesting now speaking of layers we're gonna go into layers because i felt like this was like the perfect segue into layers because this is another way to create an outfit combo it's by adding another layer and I'm actually excited about this because I've been seeing things that are trending that really kind of fit the outfit combos. And one of the trends for this year, for the fall winter season, is layering pants underneath dresses or pants underneath skirts. So again, you're adding that extra layer. Let's say you have a mini skirt from summer and you still want to keep wearing it. You can put a pair of jeans or a pair of pants or a pair of slacks underneath it and then still do maybe like a sweater you could even put a button down t-shirt underneath the sweater now at this point you got on four pieces but because they vary in length because they vary in shape and structure and silhouette it's interesting it's not overwhelming and it creates a good outfit combo ideally when you're getting dressed i feel like the most interesting outfits they come in an odd number. So three pieces of clothing. And I don't mean to say that two pieces of clothing is not enough because it most definitely is. There is ways to create more interest in an outfit that only contains two pieces of clothing. And that's likely going to be through one of the pieces being a statement piece and through the accessories. That's what gets a shine because I know that sometimes, for one, not all the time do outfits call for extra pieces and to the weather and your lifestyle does not call for extra pieces but in the event that you really really want to take it to the next level and create more killer combos add layers to the outfit so because a mini skirt is already tiny a crop top is already tiny imagine those two pieces with the long trench coat you can picture it in your head it, because you've seen it done and you know that it looks good Without it, it would just be like you're giving so much skin. Like, where are we going? Are we headed to the beach? Like, what's happening? But just adding that coat makes it so much more interesting. And it also changes up the lens. So you do have a little bit of contrast dressing in there because you got short, short, and then you got just something that's super, super long. And then I would wear it open or even have the trench coat like slightly tied in the back where it still reveals the body yaddy yaddy, but it's not too much. And it's like, ooh, I like that. That's another outfit combo, by the way, you know. You can throw that in your killer combo repertoire. Another way to create outfits, without much thought, it's one of my favorite things to do, and it is to go monochromatic. You cannot go wrong with a monochromatic outfit. And what I've learned over time is that 
with monochromatic outfits you can even do different like tones like for example i could do a cool tone with a warm tone with a neutral tone and put it all together but as long as it's kind of like in that same color range it works i've done it before still somehow just comes together this really kind of goes into color story though so maybe i should have mentioned it in my last video but i'm mentioning it now so that you just have that in your back pocket because that's something that i use often when i when i want to figure out like what's going to match with this what's going to go with this i typically will just do a monochromatic outfit because it's like no fuss no hassle Another thing that's no fuss, no hassle is dresses, one pieces, jumpsuits, cat suits, all of those things. With those kind of like outfit combos, the only thing that you really have to do is accessorize. And I feel like the same thing goes into accessories. Let's say if the outfit is super oversized, maybe you don't want a huge bag because it's like everything's big. Why is everything so big? You know, but if you have on a cat suit, then you could possibly go with a larger bag or you could go with a trench coat to go on top of the cat suit so that it's something that's loose or maybe even a cropped kind of like oversized shoulder padded jacket. It's still going to create that interest kind of going back to like the leggings and the sweatsuit thing, but in a more elevated way. And then the last gem that I just want to drop before I close out this video is stop worrying about the size of clothing. I am a true size medium. I'm a US size 6. I have clothes in my closet from an extra small to an extra large. And it's because I don't worry about the sizing when I purchase the item. I worry about the fit of clothing and how I want it to fit me. So for example, let's say the piece is naturally supposed to be fitted, but I don't want it to be fitted. I want it to be oversized. So if I want it to be oversized and it's supposed to be fitted, I need to go up two sizes, three sizes so that I can get the fit that I want on my body or even vice versa. Let's say that the piece is oversized, but I don't want it to be that oversized. Maybe I need to go down a size or two, just get it out of your head that you have to buy things that are in your size you need to buy things based on the way that you want to, them to fit and you also should consider when purchasing clothes where are the clothes coming from is it a french brand because french brands like jacques mousse tend to run really small like teeny tiny like i don't know what the french girls are doing but they have to be skint because for me i'm not buying nothing less than an extra large in jacques mousse I'm not doing it because it, the way that it fits, it's not fitted for my body. It's not fitted for a lot of curves. It's not fitted for thickness, okay? It's not fitted for a down south girl. The cellulite has nowhere to go. Or if it's a European brand, and this even goes with shoes too because I've noticed a range in the size of shoes. Sometimes I can go down to a five and a half and I'm a six and a half. But sometimes I have to like size up like half a size, especially if it's like a boot or something like that. I might have to go up a half a size or even a whole size so that it's comfortable on my foot. And I know you're thinking, if I'm shopping online, how do I know what size to order? I'm going to give you a little secret. If you're lazy, you ain't going to want to do this. But I guarantee you, if you're lazy, you're probably not watching this video anyways. Measure your body. Yeah. You know what your waist is know what your bust is know what your hip situation is and most brands will give you the measurements or they will tell you the measurements of the model and then tell you what size the model has on so that way you have an actual reference that makes sense i understand that that is a lot of work but you know it's also a lot of work buying something that doesn't fit and having to return it so which one would you rather you do a little work on the front end or you can waste your money. <laughs> I said that that was going to be my last tip, but I actually have one more. And shout out to Tashara from Politics and Fashion. I did watch the episode of her and Janae. So I love both of y'all. Thank you for that shout out. It was beautiful. I loved it. We do have to purge. We actually have to eliminate things in our wardrobe that no longer suit us that no longer serve us that don't fit us 
that we don't like the cut of on our body. I don't care what brand it's from. I don't care how much you paid for it. It doesn't serve a purpose if you never wear it. It's taking up space. It's probably creating brain fog and it's making it extremely difficult for you to get dressed quicker that you get rid of it the quicker that you remove it the better off that you will be the easier it will be to create the perfect combos and honestly the better you'll look and feel when you step out in the words of frozen let it go let it go all right loves that's it thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye